visiting a school. It is supposed to be an easy photo opportunity for politicians. Not so much for the new education secretary. I don't believe that she's fit to do the job. I don't think that you should be able to purchase um, a cabinet seat. Betsy DeVos met by protesters in Washington, D.C. She had to find another way in. What did you think of the protesters this morning? Another event that is usually standard, the president welcomes championship teams to the White House. But when the winners of the Super Bowl, the New England Patriots, come, so far, six of their players say they'll stay away in protest. For many Republican members of Congress back in their districts for the first time since the inauguration, this is what is greeting them at home. Representative Jason Chaffetz is in charge of the committee that could investigate the Trump administration. This was his first town hall meeting back home in Utah, a packed house inside, a mass of protesters kept outside. Given the choice that was before us, by far Donald Trump was the better choice, by far. The congressman eventually just walked off stage almost an hour early. This scene is being repeated across the country. Lawmakers facing crowds so angry, many feel that they needed to be escorted out by police. Analysts say this has the potential to have a big impact. Republicans should be concerned because the people who are angry now are progressives. In 2010, it was conservatives who were upset with President Obama. They didn't like the health care program that he was developing. And out of that came the Tea Party and a wave election that swept a lot of Democrats out of office in 2010. Republicans have repeated the very same mistakes. Politicians tend to believe that voters have short memories, that protests usually die down over time. But in this case, at least so far, this movement against President Trump seems to be getting even more energized with each move he makes. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.